So I'm Samuel and uh, I'm from Switzerland. I'm basically Italian, but I live in Switzerland and I'm from the Edelberg company. I've been uh, with Edelberg since the beginning, uh, since 2009 when we started. So Edelberg is a 100% uh, family-owned company, so it's everything done by us. We do believe in teams, so we work very strongly with people and with uh, professionals around us, uh, engineers, uh, designers, graphic designers, and uh, basically the main characters of the companies are my father, my mother and me. Edelberg started as a part of an experience that we had since uh, more than 10 years as distributors of several pen brands for the Swiss markets and also as retailers uh, in Zug, which is uh, one of the smallest cantons in Switzerland. And um, that's where a little bit our desire started to bring in a new concept in the writing instrument uh, sector and where we wanted to bring something fresh, something innovating and something that had uh, maybe cross-contamination of other worlds into the pen industry. So last year at Basel, during the Basel World Fair, uh, we presented two new collections, which are two collections that will be renewed every year. So we'll be launching one new edition every year. It concerns <coughs> a special edition and it concerns a limited edition. Uh, the first collection is called Bespoke and the Bespoke collection is inspired to the world of tailoring, the world of sartorialism, the world of suiting, of patterns. So the first two models we created are the Pierre de Poule, which is the houndstooth. It's a design that has been made by airbrush artwork, so it's a, it's a handmade uh, design. It has an individual number on the bottom of the pen, handmade, also this one. The design has been made by Luca Roccaforte, which is based in Bologna. While the second model we launched is the Gessato version. Gessato is uh, the, the Italian word for pinstripe. And also here we did um, uh, an airbrush artwork, which has to be very pre precise to come out nicely. And these two editions uh, have been made as rollerball and as a fountain pen. Here on the Pierre de Pool, we have some black PVD plating, which is the same kind of plating that's, that is used into watchmaking also. The other collection uh, we have launched is the Animal Prince collection. When we did the Animal Prince collection, we thought that Animal Prince have been, has been used a lot into fashion. So people used it, uh, at that time, Roberto Cavalli uh, launched the first collection and the trend of Animal Prints. It has been used on watches. It has been used on very expensive bags, but never on an expensive pen. So animals had a, have a lot of uh, symbolism uh, it has a lot of energy, a lot of power, and the first edition we created is the Pantera Tigris. The Pantera Tigris is limited to 46 pieces worldwide, so it's very, very limited because we want our limited edition to be uh, valuable in the time. So we want the limited edition to be sold out after not three years, but after one and a half years since it, its launching. Again, here we did a hand, an handmade hairbrush work on, on a, a resin body, and we've got the um, signature of Luca Roccaforte and the hand number on the pen uh, again. Both editions come with a special certificate of authenticity where you'll find the description of the pen, all um, technical description, and very important, on the Pantera Tigris, we're donating for every sold pen an amount to 21st century tiger, which preserves tiger in wilderness. So this one is the EB1005. This is uh, the, the first collection we launched since 2009. Uh, it's the sloop. It's inspired to the shape. It has the shape of a sailing boat. Uh, what we're trying to do here is to use high-end materials that are very well known in the world of watches. So we've got um, stainless steel. We've got this 
iconic uh, carbon fiber body in this um, on this version it's shining but we do use also matte carbon fiber finishing uh, we have a red lacquer line which is not just a printed line but it's dug with a CNC machine and then filled inside and then on the logo we have something that it's the first time that it has been used in, uh, in pants it's super luminova it's the same material that is used into watches that glows up in the dark we have very important is that feature of the clip that retracts into the body while you twist it and when you twist it back it comes up again and only this small part is created with 13 small pieces and it has to be assembled by one of our um, uh, people that is in the assembly and so it's as you can see there, there are a lot of process production process and engineering process to produce a ballpoint like this. Uh, with Ilberg we're trying to communicate a lot through social media, through internet and um, that's why we really try to create high-end content uh, for uh, medias like Instagram, like Facebook. We're working right now on a new uh, website uh, that is going to be launched in December where people will be able to find uh, content, to find videos, to find more about who we are, who's behind the brand and how the products are uh, created. Into